What's going on? Y'all may know this about me, but I am the ultimate proponent for having an emergency fund. And if y'all been a a fan of the channel, y'all been watching, y'all know I have a lot of emergencies that come up due to no mistake of my own. I guess that's how emergencies are most times. But there were mistakes that were made at the tax office in multiple years that people who've been watching this channel saw that the tax office made an error that caused me that I had to get rectified. There are uh, people rear ending me. And lo and behold, this is my February trying to drill it into everybody where you have to have some fun stashed away because emergencies come up. So let's dive in. Let's talk about it. Let's get it. Emergency funds. Bottom line is you need one because something always comes up. And I just want to let y'all know what something came up this year or this month. I'm wilder. This month. Hey, I'm coming from the grocery store because I already have in my mind, I need to get my Super Bowl food ready. The Super Bowl is coming up upon us. I need to get my Super Bowl food ready. And the Super Bowl is the one time a year where I literally don't plan on eating any vegetables unless it's a topping on a pizza. So, so far on the menu is nachos, pizza, mozzarella sticks. Um, I probably do some salmon or something on the grill for the wifey because, you know, she's Episcopalian, pescatarian, whatever it is. But me and the kids, we going to just wild out on sodium and bread and cheese and we going to be feeling real terrible. No workout the next day. It is what it is. Now, going to buy all of the junk I need for my Super Bowl smorgasbord, I'm coming back, and lo and behold, there's a new pothole in the road, and it's a pothole that's unavoidable because the lane that I'm in, there is someone beside me, and then there's a curb to the other side of me, so I couldn't move. I hit this pothole, and this pothole, as soon as I hit it, have you ever hit a pothole? I knew immediately. I said, my my tie flat as hell. Literally, two seconds later, what happens? The light come on in the dash, low air pressure. So I don't know if y'all like this. I'm not one of them people like when my tire's flat, I'm not going to slow ride that junk home or nothing like that. When my tire flat, I'm parking, I'm pulling over. I don't care where I'm at. I don't care if I'm on a country road. I don't care if I'm in the hood. Hey, I already got my, always got my 2A protection on me. So I pull over immediately. I call for a tow truck. Now, there's a tire shop I could go to that's probably like a half a mile away, but I'm just not driving my car like that. I don't give a damn how slow because I don't want to mess up the front end. I paid like five stacks a couple of years ago for some front end work so it could be riding clean, and I'd be damned if I'm going to mess it up just trying to drive to get a tire fix when I could wait the 60 to 90 minutes till they come, and I'm not changing the flat right now because it's just too damn cold and I didn't want to do it. I had my phone. I was just coming from the store. I had some snacks. So you know what that means? Your boy had time to wait. Well, lo and behold, when I get to the tire repair place, they pull the rim off the car. They pull the tire off. The rim has a huge dent in it. The pothole dented my rim. So not only did I have to buy a used rim to actually put on the tire and a used tire to put on the vehicle, that cost me about $330. The TPU sensor that measures the air pressure in the tire was also damaged. So, you know, that was another thing that needs to get fixed. Now, fortunately for me, I can file a claim with the state that it happened in, and they will reimburse me. Um, But we already know the deal. When you want to get reimbursed from the state, you're looking at six to nine months. So I am going to file a claim. I actually also filed a claim to have them repair that particular area. And I put my email address in, so I have that correspondence. So it's, it's, it's going to get rectified, but it's crazy that a rando pothole costs a $330 cost out of pocket that I had to get done. And it's probably going to cost more to replace that rim, put a new tire on it. And you know, when you put new tires on, you can't just put one new tire on. Technically, it always behooves you to put two in the front. So, hey, now I called my insurance company because I didn't want to file the claim with the state just yet. I filed the claim with my insurance company so I can actually go get an estimate. Once I get the estimate of the work to be done, then I'll file the claim with the state. And the reason I'm doing it that way is because 
Of course, if I go through my insurance, I have to have a deductible, and I would much rather not pay the deductible. I would much rather just get the estimate, file the claim with the state, have the state reimburse me for the cost, repair cost annotated in the estimate, have them reimburse me what I would have paid in my deductible, have them reimburse me what I had to pay out of pocket to just put a, a rim and a tire on there just so I could get my ass home. But the moral of this story is be careful for potholes and always have an emergency fund. If you don't have an emergency fund, you're just asking to kick your, get, get kicked in the nuts. And trust me, nobody want to get kicked in the nuts. Ladies, it's not fun getting kicked in the nuts. I'm assuming y'all could probably relate if you ever been kicked anywhere in that area at all. But you won't want to take that swift kick and then you know what. So have an emergency fund. If you don't have an emergency fund, start out small. Just start out by putting $25 a week into an account and just leaving it there. If you could start out with just $25 a week, $50 a month, you'll be amazed at how fast that emergency fund can grow. We grew our emergency fund to three months worth of an emergency funds. Then we grew it to six months worth of emergency fund, $30,000, and we did it essentially a couple of hundred bucks at a time, 250 bucks a month. That's what we started out with, and we did that. And after a year, we was like, man, we got over $3,000 in. Then we were able to bump it up to $250 every pay period. And after a while, we was like, man, we got $10,000. We got $15,000. We were able to get it up to $6,000. So definitely, if you have some margin, you have some room Definitely set something aside for an emergency fund. If you don't have margin, make some margin by cutting some things out or get some margin by increasing your income so you can cover yourself. If you enjoyed this video, check out the video on the screen. There's more content related to finances and attorney reactions that you'll enjoy.